This is the Bookbinder Rescue on Reaper 1. Starting from the uh, upstairs entrance instead of the downstairs, which you can get to using the ladder by the quest giver. Um, I, I don't know if there's that much difference, but I just prefer to start up here as opposed to starting with the mob down there. Most of the damage I took was because I did not get my shield spell off. I started moving, which activated the mobs before I got my shield spell off, so or shield clicky off. So it just goes to show you, uh, you know, and that's it's way worse if you get a Reaper or a Champion. Yeah, I usually just disable all the traps first and then go back and get the rooms after. And I'm not going to bother with the rescuing or the take him to the exit aspect. I'm just going to do the, uh, once we get the, just going for the main objective, which is the uh, find the members and defeat the bugs. So that stun was from a failed fortitude save. My fortitude save is actually pretty good, but um, I didn't see, you know, I didn't check to see what whether I rolled a one or whether I just, you know, it's just, it just requires a really high save. But either way, that stun was a little, it's a little bit nerve wracking. Uh, it's definitely one thing that could cause, um, could cause a quick death is if you're stunned. But it did, yeah, in this case, it worked out fine. This plucky elderly woman looks like she's getting the shots. She must be the matriarch of the Linda family. I 
let's take a look at the end reward. Really hoping for an invis clicky. That would be my uh, dream item to get here from here. Blindness immunity. That's not too bad. Uh, nothing really kind of interesting. Feather falling boots. One. I mean, maybe. I mean, I don't really have room for another bound to account item, but I guess if I keep in the cloak. I can keep this, but I, I'll uh, probably end up just deleting those. Alright, that is Bookbinder Rescue on Reaper 1.